a wonderful center, which was created just barely three months ago, but they have done a lot of things. You see, we, they have a poultry which is ongoing, they have a good garden, and the inmates are very happy to have integrated the center. President Colby was very clear. He asked them that, lay down your weapons and come to these centers, because these centers are vocational training centers. You, can, you look at the poultry. Next week, uh, the coordinator has, is telling us that uh, the, he will buy sewing machines for the young people to uh, learn tailoring. So you see, you have a lot of possibilities. You know, um, idleness is something which is not good. When you lay down your weapons, something has to occupy you. He told us that uh, we have uh, teachers who are coming in, we have medical doctors coming in, and we have others who, who come to uh, visit uh, the inmates. So I think that this is a clear example, and I want to make this appeal that all those who uh, are preoccupied with the situation in the two regions must support the measures which have already been taken by the government, because those are concrete measures to solve the problem. President Paul Bia knows Cameroon better than all of us. And when he takes decisions, it is for general interest. So every person who is reasonable must support what the government is doing to solve the present political upheavals. Those who don't want to follow what the government is doing, I think they want to make a gain out of uh, this unfortunate situation. And I think it is not serious. So people should see what the government has done so far. And we should encourage the government and we should support the government because this is a clear option. You lay down your weapons, you go to the centers, and you have a better future, you have a brighter future. So people should not benefit or should try to capitalize on an unfortunate situation which is not helping anyone. So the head of state has taken concrete decisions, and those who, who want to help us should help the government to implement the decisions which have been taken by the head of state. And it's clear that the, pol the head of state defines the policies of the nation. So you cannot bring something which is contrary to what the head of state is saying. So those who are preoccupied, who want to help us, should come, should put our hands together and see how we can address these issues, but addressing them under a legal framework, which is the constitution of the republic. So I think that at least you have seen for yourselves, you have to do uh, the advertisement, the inmates are very happy. Yes, and uh, by the time we were doing this, we had information from the, from the administrative authorities that we have 27 new fighters who have laid down their weapons and they have, they, we are sending vehicles to go and take them to camp because they are convinced that they cannot stay in the bushes. For how long will you stay in the bushes? You have no future in the bushes. And moreover, you cannot fight the forces of law and order. You don't have the means to fight the state. The, the message is clear. Cameroon is one and indivisible, and it shall so remain. So we have a brighter future in this one strong and united Cameroon. So we always encourage those who are in the bushes. We are asking all the stakeholders, the traditional leaders, the religious authorities, the businessmen, the teachers, to join us to put in place what President Paul Bia has prescribed to solve the problem. Thank you.